Cleveland Comic Fest, and today I'm joined with Marie Criddle. So Marie, can you tell me a little bit about your work experience? Yeah, I've been doing Comic Cons and drawing on notebooks for about seven or so years. Um, yeah, and it's just been really fun. I have my kids, they're kind of my art directors. They tell me what to draw, and I just draw that, and then we have kind of our business together. So it's pretty fun. So how has creativity played a role in your art pieces? I think creativity is super important. Every single one of my pieces is an original piece, and so each one I've got to kind of like dig deep and see what people like and what I like and I never draw things that I don't like so it's fun it's like they're little pieces of my imagination my kids imagination and just what we like you know and it's really fun when people come and buy it and they'll be like oh my gosh I love hamburgers too you know and it's like oh cool we can connect it's a way to connect with other humans that I wouldn't otherwise connect with do you have any favorite pieces that you'd like to show um, I love to do unicorns and unicorns has always been my favorite thing in the world and actually Funny enough, it's right here. Um, it's a unicorn that like is from a book I read when I was eight years old, and it's about these really kicky unicorns that like fight dragons and bring fire and stuff. And so every time I draw it, and somebody's like, "I like that," I'm like, "Let me tell you about the book I had when I was a kid." Oh my gosh, you know. So yeah, unicorns, anything imaginative, and of course anything that my my kids enjoy and they want me to draw too. So, about how long would you say this piece took you? Um, something like this probably takes me 15 to 20 minutes. Um, smaller pieces take me 5 to 10 minutes. And when I first started doing this, it was like one piece took me an hour and a half. And I'm like, this is not a good business model. I'm not going to make any money. But the more you practice, the quicker you get. It's just like playing the piano or any skill that you have. You just keep practicing and you get better and better. So, Do you have any um, inspirations that ins maybe inspired your artwork or your love and passion for it? You know, honestly, Glenn Keane, uh, the old Disney animator who is famous for doing like Belle and, you know, Pocahontas and that sort of thing. I mean, that's what I grew up watching was the very early or not early, but like the new Disney movies of the new Renaissance and stuff. So it's definitely that sort of like the life he puts into his characters and the eyes and all that sort of thing. So I really try to channel my inner Glenn Keane. <laughs> so. Uh, where can people find your artwork? I'm usually just on Instagram. I My business name is Brush Quibbleys, or you can look up Marie Criddle, and I'll be there. And it's basically just Instagram. You find me, and if you see something you like, you DM me and say, I need that unicorn from that cool book you read, and ta-da, I have it. So, yeah. Well, thank you for talking with us today. Yeah, you bet. Thank you guys for having me. <laughs>